Awesome. Hello, everyone. We're so excited to have you here with us today to hear what our team has put their blood, sweat, and tears literally in over the course of this semester. My name is Tyler Liebentritt, as Dr. Sweetser said. I'm the team lead for the School of Journalism and Media Studies campaign. You'll hear from 15 other incredible, fresh PR pros that have grown with the School of JMS over the past two, three, four, and even five years. Over that time, the School of JMS has shaped us into the storytellers that we are today and really helped us navigate our lives. So you can tell we are all extremely grateful for this client and the fact that we could give back to our very own school. The School of JMS is a nationally accredited program with innovative coursework and well-established faculty. I want you to take a moment and think back to your time in college. Think back to those final few semesters, that last semester of your senior year. Well, as current students, you can imagine how COVID-19 has completely altered our final few semesters of the college experience. After discussing with the client how important it was to build and maintain strong community in a virtual environment, we strategically crafted this PR campaign. From discussing uncomfortable conversations about social issues and providing opportunities to expand professional development, this campaign truly encompasses so many important aspects of what it means to be a part of the School of JMS here at SDSU. Yes, thank you, Tyler. And part of what that means is that the School of JMS at SDSU prepares their students as thought leaders, and they emphasize the power of storytelling and they empower their students to enact change as active professionals and citizens. Hello, my name is Gracie Greco, and I'm our team's lead of research. So we began our campaign by researching the issues presented by the school to acquire an understanding of what their situation was, their target publics, and competing organizations as well. Um, we conducted a pre-campaign survey, collecting responses from our JMS community, and we analyzed the school's media content across four different platforms. We also conducted six in-depth interviews, probing for deeper insights, and assessed a, competing, a list of competing universities and colleges to compare and evaluate us to our competitors. These findings provided a base level understanding of the school, prompting the creation of progressive evidence-based strategies and tactics. Good afternoon, everybody. My name's Nicholas Brown. A lot of the qualitative data that we employed even before the campaign planning began came in the form of a pre-campaign survey that we sent out to JMS faculty, alumni, and students. It covered just about everything that we were concerned with uh, from word of mouth communication between the School of JMS and individuals in the community, all the way to diversity, inclusion, and belonging in the School of JMS. Uh, we got some invaluable data from this. For example, we found that 29.4% of respondents strongly agreed that the School of JMS was dedicated to promoting diversity, inclusion, and belonging. However, you compare that to 23.5% of respondents who strongly disagree that the school of JMS reflects who they are, and you can understand how we were given a starting point. This pre-campaign survey gave us a really great baseline to establish the needs of the JMS community and, and figure out how we can truly meet them to the best of our ability through this campaign. The statistics like the ones that I just shared with you proved absolutely invaluable when it came time to plan our serious events like Beyond JMS and Screening Circle. Hi, I'm Cassidy Eisen and I'm a part of the research logistics and messaging team. For our quantitative research efforts, the team analyzed posts on the School of JMS's media platforms to better understand which strategies are effective in reaching the school's target audience. We took a look at posts from August 23rd, 2020 to April 13th, 2021 on the School of JMS's Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. We recorded post engagements, messages, images, hashtags, tags, and hyperlinks across each of the platforms. The school distributes most of its content related to JMS on Facebook, but they receive the lowest amount of engagement on this platform. Although they mentioned JMS less than their content than Facebook, Twitter and Instagram reported higher engagement rates overall, collected through the average number of likes, comments, and shares. This indicates the school should utilize Twitter and Instagram in relaying more information about JMS. The school should regularly feature JMS faculty, staff, and students in their content, since posts containing images, tags, and mentions of familiar faces receive higher average engagement across all four platforms. We also see great value in building a presence on LinkedIn. In utilizing this resource, the School of JMS can promote events, share accomplishments of students and faculty, provide networking opportunities among the JMS community, and increase alumni relations beyond the MESA. Hi everyone, I'm Emma Law, and a critical aspect of our research was an in-depth analysis of our competitors. 
To assess how the school compares to program, other programs in the country, we examine journalism programs at universities that provide similar opportunities in the fields of communication and journalism. We analyze these programs based on four categories of student organizations, community engagement, bilingual journalism programs, and webinars. USC Annenberg's webinars series hosts speakers from various fields, jobs, and backgrounds, and they are presented and recorded through Zoom and serve as an opportunity for students to learn about different careers from experts in these respective fields. This format worked as a guide for us in planning and presenting our Beyond JMS webinars as we hosted guests who hold valuable positions in the fields of corporate social responsibility and social media brand management. ASU has a teaching hospital model of education and so do we. And as we stand right in front of you as students of JMS 585, it is exactly what we are doing. Seniors at the School of JMS have a chance to get real hands-on experience and that is something that makes us different and something that we should show off. ASU also has a bilingual journalism offer like we do, but there's a graduate level program which strengthens their over, overall reputation. We can and should do more to promote our bilingual journalism program to build even greater recognition and reputation for the School of JMS. Hi everyone, I'm Hannah DeBella. I'm a part of the graphics and research team. In order for us to obtain a deeper understanding of our public's attitude and awareness, the research team conducted six in-depth interviews via Zoom. The team interviewed a current graduate student, an undergraduate student, a transfer student and SUSU alumni and journalism student from a competing university. With these six interviews, we sought clarity on four precedents, knowledge of events put on by the School of JMS, diversity and inclusion within the School of JMS, communication from the School of JMS with students and alumni, and connection with faculty. The information our team gathered from these interviews helped us formulate our efforts. Students and alumni conveyed a strong passion and draw towards faculty, so we curated faculty and filtered. An individual also expressed that they would attend more webinars if the speaker directly correlated with their career goals. Thus, our team implemented Beyond JMS, where an array of professionals from different fields spoke during these webinars. When discussing the topic of diversity and inclusion within the School of JMS, an interview we expressed the Screening Circle series is a relatable way for the School of JMS to talk about diversity. Oof, that was a lot. So allow me to break it down for you guys. So the School of JMS's strengths are their community's positive view towards the school and their ample feelings of inclusion. The school has successful organizations such as NABJ and PRSSA, and they're outstanding at forming lasting relationships between their faculty, students, and alumni. The school's weaknesses, however, mostly stem from their communication methods. There's a lack of attention towards the school's communication as many don't capitalize on or participate in the resources and events that are provided by the school. We can also see that communicating through media hasn't been very progressive as there are low rates of engagement. And it was also noted that the school should focus a little more on diversity. The school has the opportunity to implement new events and strengthen feelings of belonging and community and to also augment alumni involvement. In particular, Beyond JMS and Screening Circle are events that can increase interconnectedness and encourage diversity through discussion of important and current social issues going on. Zoom fatigue, lack of interest in the events, or unfamiliarity with the event topics can threaten the school's opportunity for success. There's also trouble maintaining effective communication and difficulty building awareness due to low engagement and participation. Hi everyone, I'm Molly Rass and I was part of the logistic teams for Beyond JMS and Screening Circle. Based on our formative research, we determined that the School of JMS is a top tier program with a great sense of pride among its 600 some students, but it lacks the appropriate inclusivity, communication, and interest necessary to create a solid community of students, faculty, and alumni. Moving forward, we wanted to identify and implement ways to strengthen those areas to create a stronger and more engaged community overall so that we can help the School of JMS thrive and its mission to create, empower, and offer opportunities for storytellers. Hi everyone, I'm Jensen Bell. We hit the ground running with a campaign guided by storytelling. We headed into the planning portion of the campaign by setting three goals based on our research. Under the umbrella of the School of JMS itself are the two webinar events we helped out with, Beyond JMS and Screaming Circle all three with their own specific goals. For the School of JMS itself, we aim to deepen alumni and student relationships within the school. Our goal with Beyond JMS was focused on developing a consistent community since the webinar series got its start this semester. The ongoing webinar series highlights JMS alumni and media professionals across the nation, helping expand horizons and excel careers after graduation. And finally, we had the amazing opportunity to start Screening Circle events where attendees dove deep into discussion about racially charged issues through the lens of the HBO series, Lovecraft Country. 
Our goal was to instill Screening Circle as an agent for positive change. Good evening, my name is Tamaya Cook. After setting our goals, we wanted to be specific. We wanted results that showed we made a difference. To deepen alumni and student relationship within the School of JMS, we wanted to increase word of mouth communication and alumni use of resources and services provided by the School of JMS by 5% by March 30th. To develop a consistent Beyond JMS community, we wanted to increase attendance to Beyond JMS events by 10% by March 30th. And last but not least, to instill Screening Circle as an agent for positive change, we wanted to increase diversity, inclusion, and belonging within the School of JMS by 5% by March 30th. Hi everyone, I'm Natalie Wilson. The School of JMS prides itself on diversity, community, and a sense of belonging. So as a campaign team, we targeted a total of five audiences. The campaign focuses on specific audiences to foster community with latent publics and strengthen active publics. For our primary publics, we wanted to strengthen three of our already active publics. We targeted JMS students because we want to ensure that the students can be storytellers and hold the power for positive change. Beyond JMS focuses on JMS related careers while screening circle modules were available for students to complete for credit in some of their JMS courses. Our secondary primary public was JMS alumni. We aim to share the relationships alumni have with the school and its community. Our third primary public was JMS faculty. JMS faculty was targeted for both of our webinars. Faculty who attended the events were able to see their past or present students being catalysts for change. Both of our secondary publics were deemed latent, but we wanted to make sure that they feel more a part of our community. We encourage the ASIC community beyond just the School of JMS to attend both of our webinar events. Lifelong learners from everywhere were encouraged to attend events through social media promotion and LinkedIn invites. Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer Souza. I'm the team's HR manager. Some of the key messages that we wanted our team to communicate with this campaign is that our graduates have gone on to do some really amazing things. We've got American Ninja Warrior commentators, we have admirals, we have agency founders. The School of JMS has a, a group of really amazing alumni and we really wanted our campaign to showcase that. Our four majors, journalism, public relations, advertising and media studies are all steeped in storytelling. As storytellers, we are agents for change. We're using the power of words to move the needle. Another one of the messages that we wanted our campaign to communicate is that, we, that success begins on the Mesa. We have a hands-on curriculum, we have a decorated faculty, and we've been setting trends in media education even before we were officially founded. The PR textbook was written by our very own Glenn Broom, so that's definitely something to be proud of. With the Beyond JMS webinars, we're promoting success from the Mesa, we're making alumni connections, and we're supporting lifelong learning. With Screening Circle, we are embarking on a mission for change while we're highlighting Black excellence and creativity. Hi everyone, my name is Radiza Baitan. Our team implemented various additions to the School of JMS that would exhibit our storytelling theme as catalyst for change. For the School of JMS, we implemented an inclusivity guide that promotes diversity, equity, and inclusion, followed by a land acknowledgement that is presented at the beginning of each event. We also created Faculty Unfiltered, inspired by Jimmy Kimmel's Celebrity Reads Mean Tweet segments. Faculty Unfiltered consists of JMS professors reading lighthearted jokes that students have written. For website changes, we created an updated events page that links to LinkedIn events, changed the whole page COVID-19 banner, and added social media icons. Speaking of social media, we got the JMS LinkedIn account to go from zero followers to 288 followers, and got our post impressions to 7,500. Lastly, we created an alumni spotlight that highlights some of our alumni. They were able to talk about their experiences with the School of JMS and any advice that they had for our students. Hi everyone, my name is Carissa Duran. Although the pandemic distanced everyone this past year, our team brought students together through storytelling. One of our team's implementation strategies was to create Screening Circle. Screening Circle is based off of Academy Award-winning Jordan Peele's HBO series, Lovecraft Country. Lovecraft Country highlights one of our country's most crucial issues right now, and that issue is racism. This series is based in the 1950s Jim Crow America and follows characters as they battle monsters, both figuratively and quite literally, while also struggling against racial issues. Our team decided to base Screening Circle off of Lovecraft Country to stimulate those important dis discussions between students and racial injustice in the US. We created a three-part series for students, faculty, and all others who are interested in participating. 
Screening Circle was similar to a book club, except instead of reading a book, we were all watching an action-packed streamed television series. In our post-event feedback survey, the following comment was left by a Pacific Islander self-identified self student who attended one of our events. The comment was, this event was a reminder of how everything is connected and how powerful storytelling really is. This was our team's overall goal with Screening Circle. It was to prove to students like this that our major can give them a voice. And with that voice as a storyteller, they can become catalysts for change. Not only did we have the opportunity to speak with participants about racial issues in the US, but we also got in contact and had great conversations with real people behind HBO's Lovecraft Country and other writers and producers from other series. The guest speakers for Screening Circle included the show's production designer, Emmy Award production designer, Kalina Ivanov, the show's, Emmy, the show's Grammy music composer, Laura Cartman, and writers and producers for the series Empire, Jashika and Janika James. Screening Circle gave participants the opportunity to enter the conversation about race, amplify voices of marginalized communities, motivate allies to take action, and help students consider how this all comes into play in their own role as media professionals. Hi, my name is Samantha Malzmer, and I was part of the research and graphics team. After a really difficult year for students and staff alike, the School of Journalism really wanted to make sure students still had opportunities to network with industry professionals and share valuable insight regarding careers in media. Another implementation strategy that we improved upon is Beyond JMS. These were essentially virtual webinars that featured a variety of industry professionals, including Amanda Ray Silverman, who is the Global Digital Communications Manager for Vans, and USC Annenberg graduate Kelly Wilson. Amanda shared what it takes for brands to create a strong brand identity and showed us how Vans is doing just that. While uh, Kelly Wilson joined us, she has told us about her time at Warner being loyal for many years, and she is currently the Director of Social Impact, where she has launched many successful programs, including Access to Action and WB Good. Um, our goal for these webinars was essentially to create a place for students to learn from and engage with successful industry professionals to gain insight beyond what they may typically learn in a classroom. Now on to budget. The School of Journalism and Media Studies set a campaign budget of $1,000 and our public relations team spent a total of $730.88. That was made up of first, the branding package for Screening Circle, which was $365.44, as well as a branding package for Beyond JMS, which was also $365.44. These included things like logo designs and billable hours at about 4,000. To evaluate the success of our campaign, we compared the post-campaign survey results to the results from the surveys distributed at the beginning of our campaign to measure changes in feelings of things like diversity and inclusion, connection, knowledge, and interest. We also analyzed increases in Beyond JMS webinar attendance and media coverage of all of our events. We then came up with a list of recommendations in the future to help the School of JMS continue to establish feelings of inclusion and interest in their community. Hi everyone, I'm Megan Blatcher and I will be telling you about our press coverage. When working on this campaign, we knew that the school of JMS has stories to tell. Stories about our own SDSU community, our JMS community, and all of the stories and the experiences shared during our Screen Circle events and the Beyond JMS webinars. Because of this, we pitched to different publications and journalists throughout California and the country so that we could secure coverage and share these stories that are so important to us with the public. We wrote stories for the College of Professional Studies and Fine Arts, California Life HD, our first Screen Circle event was covered by the Daily Aztec, and we had insightful and thought-provoking conversations with the editor-in-chief and the publisher and owner of Black San Diego Magazine. We chose to focus on PSFA stories in the Daily Aztec because we wanted to reach our own SDSU and JMS community. And we pitched to publications like Black San Diego Magazine because of our shared goal to amplify the voices of traditionally marginalized communities and to promote storytelling. So every time we pitched to a different journalist and a different outlet, we made sure to highlight the importance of storytelling and all these stories that are so important to us. Hi everyone, my name is McKenna Millam and I'm gonna be going over our post-campaign survey results. Our research team conducted this survey to evaluate how the awareness, attitudes, and overall sense of belonging in our community has changed since the beginning of our campaign. The team used a five point Likert scale to evaluate how our respondents agreed with a given statement. 
So now, let's get into the highlights. Overall, the attitudes towards the School of JMS are very positive. Our post-campaign survey revealed that 42.1% of our respondents said that they were likely, very likely to say positive things about the school. The mean score was a 4.1, um, which revealed that, the, that our respondents feel very positively and are willing to communicate that to other people in their lives. Overall, the awareness also increased when asked about the awareness of resources offered by the School of JMS. The mean score averaged at a 2.8 and the overall sense of belonging was a 3.4. When asked if respondents had ever attended a JMS webinar before, most respondents did say no, but we believe that this isn't due to interest or lack of awareness, but rather problems with the virtual learning landscape and obstacles like Zoom fatigue. As you can see, there's some room to grow here, but overall, there's a really positive regard for the school and awareness and belonging has increased. Now I'd like to get into some of our recommendations. The team is so happy to know that both Beyond JMS and Screening Circle are being picked up next semester. And if it's safe to do so, we recommend that these events be held in a hybrid setting so that students who are on campus can have the rapport of an in-person setting and the, the students who maybe can't come to campus or prefer the virtual landscape can tune in as well. Our second recommendation is that the school implement Red Talks. These are TED Talk style events and they'd be a great opportunity for, for, for professionals and alumni to come back and speak to the power of storytelling. They'd be eight to 10 minutes long and recorded weekly. Our last recommendation is that the school implement stamp cards. We believe that this is a really great way to incentivize students to participate in our events, whether they be in person or virtual. So students would be able to come to events, get a stamp, and once you get five, you would be entered in a raffle for a $25 gift card to Trader Joe's. We have a really great Trader Joe's on campus, and we think that this would be an awesome way to get students in and learning more about the profession. Finally, we just want to encourage the school to continue on the path of educating aspiring media professional professionals on the power of storytelling. Wow, that was a lot of information. <laughs> Let's just take a second to appreciate all the hard work each one of my amazing peers has accomplished over the past 16 weeks. I want to thank Dr. Sweetser for guiding us and shaping us into the AP style geniuses that we are today. And, you know, potential future webinar script writers. Writing five was a lot. So I think we're all pretty prepared for the real world. Um, I want to thank Dr. Northup, Gabe Adibe, and Tatiana Simeon for allowing us to bring their vision and ours to life. We appreciate you all. The School of JMS has grown us into the storytellers and PR pros today, so it is only fitting that we did our best to showcase who they really are. Here at JMS, we know stories are just the start of a budding relationship, so now it's time to hear yours. Please ask us any and all questions you may have at this time. The campaign is completely done. We're so excited to share it with you, and the floor is yours to ask any and all questions. Meg is going to drop in our LinkedIn's so you can connect with all your favorite new PR professionals. <laughs> 